hey guys this is how the automatic discount app looks like when you reach the discount rule section so this is currently how it looks and then you can upgrade to have advanced discount rules that will allow not only to apply or trigger or fire the application of discount codes based on the current card but also based on customer history for example customer tag the number of orders in the past uh, the total amount spent in your store uh, since day one or um, I mean more advanced rules than what you can do here so you can see more and you can buy it uh, for a one-time fee and you'll have access to uh, advanced rules now in the third version of the app today I'm pretty excited to show you how we kind of simplified all that and we waived the fee to access the advanced discount rules and we combine and merge them the both the basic and the advanced rules into one rule section this is how it will look uh, when we launch this week the new version of the app so it's kind of simplified less stuff in the main navigation so you have links and rules I'll show you rules what is different is that it's not discount rules or advanced discount rules it's just discount rules and within the rules actually we've added a way to like now automate the application of Shopify discount codes but also to suggest or to give a free product or a discounted product as an upsell or as a gift and to use a smart deal which are like discount codes on steroids they are more flexible they can allow you to create custom discount or stack multiple discount into one uh, single code so for now I'll show you just I mean the difference between what you had before if you were a user on the basic rule and what you have now thanks to merging the advanced rules and the basic rules into one single screen so you will have yeah, kind of included in your subscription plan all the features all the power of the discount rules so you simply search a discount code so the discount codes is taking from the discount code section in Shopify admin and then you create a rule you can actually create more than rule and rule you can combine them the rules are I mean they define when we will fire or trigger the application of the discount code it's not the what meaning the what is the 10 off the 10 percent off this is what the customers will get as a benefits the rules are when we should give them the benefit okay so it's 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 really important to understand because if i create a rule for example uh total card amount should be bigger than 100 bucks and i would like also to have at least one item and this item i would like it to be this specific product or this specific variant because this is something new as well we also have a variant picker now in the app so if I create this rule this will will define when we will trigger the script that does the application of the discount code it's not giving the what I mean it's not what will be the benefits for for the customers the benefit for, from the customer when you use a Shopify discount code is what is inside the discount code meaning in this case it's 10% off but if you do change the settings inside Shopify admin discounts well the benefits will be different because it's what it is here if I go back to the app so I have the rule I'll create for example a group because I would like to make multiple rules like discount tiers or tiered pricing so I'll call it tiered discounts in a new group and what's also new now is that we not only have a draft and a publish mode you can also test it in the test mode so it's visible only for a login administrator you just click the eye icon there and it will detect that you're a logged in admin and it will be uh, possible to test it once it's created you'll see the actual rule that you created and it will also on over show that it will apply a Shopify code of 10 off 
So we can add a new rule, do the same stuff, and the new rule could be something different, could be upsell gift or smart deal, but the logic is kind of the same. What is different is the benefits that you give to the customers. One is a Shopify code, the other one is an upsell or a gift, and the last one is a smart deal. In further videos, I'll show you how to do these, but for now, I just wanted to show you how you can create one or more rule, and when you do so, you sim simply select here the discount code and the rule that you want to create, and you put it in a group and you save it. If you want to schedule it, you can use the start date and the end date. You can also publish it, and you can also move, if you have more than Roman rules, which one is the first one, I mean, which one has priority. The script of the app will check the first rule as the one at top, and then the one at sec uh, the one underneath, below, and the third one, and so on and so on. So this is how you can create a discount rules in the new version of the app, which combines the basic and the advanced rules into a single rule section that looks like this.